Hey guys, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries. And I have some great stuff. Can't wait to show you. I have some bags and then I have some picks um, from the uh, good old antique shop uh, that I picked up. And I'm um, super excited about it. So, let me get started. I promised myself I was going to be organized this time, and when I take the stuff out of the bag, you know, put it in category, I d I'm not just going to pile it up like I always do. Look! And enamel or painted metal. I'm not sure if you would consider this enamel, really. Uh, to me, it's kind of like painted metal. It's got some issues but it's old according to this v-shaped um, clasp thing here um, not sure why this is green or what that is but it's a nice daisy i like the flower ones this is an earring from I always think I'm going to be able to read that. Pakula. Pakula. I think I found some of this in the other bag. Pakula. This is pretty... don't know what that says. It's a patent pen clip-on earring. It's it's painted metal and it's got a kind of like an AB Aurora Borealis finish. Very pretty. Simple earring. Gold tone pierced. But pretty. Classic. I like that. Another airplane. This one has some wear. Hi, clip thing. Butterfly with the glitter enamel ing type stuff. Not sure of the year of those, but I get quite a few. A plastic earring that says Germany. Very dirty. I'm three. Hair clip thing. Cute. Don't break it. I'm three. That's so cute. This is like a door knocker. I think it's the kind you can like add your own stuff to it. You know, if you want to like interchange the type things. This is some kind of stone. Definitely stone. Little pin with some missing rhinestones. Oh, this is connected. Um, I think these are shoe clips or is it a belt buckle? It's safety pinned together. I'm not sure why. So I'm sure I would have found the other piece with it. Oh, maybe it's a belt buckle. Mm -hmm. Let's take this off. I think it goes like... This, yep, fancy. I think I've seen these kind of things before. You could put a scarf in here, two parts of the scarf down here, and then it comes down there. A 
looks like might be mother of pearl heart they overdid it on the glue clip on might say germany or japan japan i think that's girl scouts pin circle pin millions of those another one of these i guess they're newer in good shape good versatile earring you can like wear every day this is patent pending cufflink with a nice gray moon glow type thing This is a big copper bracelet with some etchings, got some wear, like a flower design. I don't think it's gonna, yeah, it fits. Kind of cool, Ugh, painful. A uh, red ribbon on this not sure a big stone wow twelve dollars looks a little like some amethyst in there I'm not sure what else but that's heavy a red clip on Here's that other earring with the pink Aurora Borealis type painted enamel metal. This is um, the screw back earring. It's a flower. It might have had um, a rhinestone in the middle. I would say, yeah. Hmm. This is a bead of some sort. Cloisonne bracelet. That was my water cooler, not my stomach. Another one of these. A nice kind of stone but I don't know what kind of stone it is probably a dyed it's probably a dyed type of stone and I don't know the name of it oh I think this is the other earring that matches the one I showed at the beginning pretty silver purple plastic cloisonne type I don't think it's really cloisonne because cloisonne, like I said before, has the gold wiring in between the different colors. This kind of look like it looks like it's painted. Pretty purple stones, stretchy. I guess these are buttons or I guess they're just buttons what would you use this for is it like a type of cufflink thing it's a little diamond um, or diamond look stick pin Red rhinestone heart. This is the other plastic one that said Germany. Dirty. Oh, wow. And this one that said Japan. Oh, this is cool. Let me see if I have the other one. Yes. With the black spinel, possibly. Or just black stones. These are pretty. 
they would go like that kind of up the ear very nice this fabric cufflink this is the other cufflink we found this is a clip-on earring that says made Austria this is actually fabric woven in a little flower look at that that's the first time I've seen that with the woven pretty I have the other one right here very pretty national NFSM 1953 oh somebody's playing a looks like a piano national hmm maybe I don't know what the F is um symphony something or other 1953 wow is this a button or a... not sure what that is here's the other red plastic rhinestone earring clip-on earring with some pearls let me see if I have the other one is this it Yes, but this one is missing some, so it's very loose. Ooh. This was super cool, but it's missing something in the middle. Let me see. And it's missing kind of that pearl thing there. Probably never be able to replace that, but... Let's say if you really love them, you could maybe get something else and just pop that out and have something matching. Those are interesting. This is a stick pin from Trafari. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's that other fabric one. Oh, see, oh, it was a pearl, not a rhinestone. That could be replaced with the other one. A pretty rhinestone, a little pearl. Seems like metal, really dirty. Some sort of um, pendant with an eagle, I think, or a hawk. Not sure what that is. Oh, this is the other earring. It was butter of pearl, but it's missing the back. I'm crazy on that glue. Ten dollars. Huh. I mean, it's pretty, but I guess that's why it's here. It was never sold. Pretty. This is broken, whatever it is. Broken piece. Mm, Trump. Somebody. It's. Uh, they painted on some kind of substance. I don't know what that is. Earring. Clip on. Here's the other one. Very worn. Oh, this is, I guess they're different patterns and they don't match. A back to something that's missing a back. And this necklace. 
let's see if there's a clasp. There is, but there's no kind of name on it. And it's got quite a bit of wear in one of these choker type had a lot of wear also. Hold your ears if you don't like the crunch of the Okay. Bone China. Genuine bone china. Oh. This is, I'm going to say, napkin ring. That's, it's impossible for it to be a bracelet or anything, so it's a napkin ring. This is pretty. I like the Aurora Borealis or AB finish. Don't see any name. It's in good shape. Heavy as heck. Wow. It is heavy. Beautiful colors, though. I like the look. Another daisy. Got a lot of wear. But pretty big daisy. Hoops. With a lot of... I don't know. Maybe if, we, maybe if they're like silver plated, you can shine them up. I'm not sure about that. This is a pin that's made out of fabric. I'm not sure what, why. But it's all fabric. Don't see any name on this, but I think it's older. Mm -hmm. Made Austria. Oh, interesting. What does it say? Twelve dollars. It's pretty. Hmm. St. Lawrence Seminary. Is that what this is? The Poor Boys Seminary. Anthony, pray for us. Poor Boys. Oh my goodness. It's just like plastic. I wonder what year that's from. Oh. I guess this matches... Those earrings I found, yep, mm -hmm. same name, it's, um, Pecula, Pecula, that's a new one, right? I think in the other one I found something like this. This is nice, nicely made, heavy. Monet, okay. Nice, very pretty, heavy. An earring attached to an earring. I don't like those little wires. They're so hard to, once they get bent out of shape, it's hard to get them back where, where they belong, you know? I don't know who came up with that, but it doesn't work very well. Stick pin, 
pretty little moon glowish thing in, in the flower. Pretty. Whoa. Something was on here. Ah, oh, crud. This almost looks like Juliana because see the puddling? That's supposed to be a, a sign of Juliana with that puddling. But I have no idea what was attached to this. It was some mammoth pin. Needs some cleaning. Really pretty beads. Some kind of like milk glass and then this. Whoa. There was something attached here. I would love to know what it was. Still pretty cool. Little clip on earrings. Cute. Little flower. I don't know why this is here if it's pierced. Hmm. Missing a stone. Ooh. Shoot. It's missing a few things here. That must have been really pretty. Oh, Pauline Rader, Rader, R-A-D-E-R. -E That's a new one. Pretty. Oh, this reminds me of that other one we just had. It's old, has the V, has the stone in it, thankfully. All gold tone. I think that's gold tone. Almost silver, but very pretty. Mm, something stuck. One of these little ones. what that was that's intact this I guess was a pendant or an earring little screw back earring with some moon glow and some I guess rhinestones Ooh. This is heavy. Reminds me of the 80s. Don't know what that says. Might be Park Lane. Yep, Park Lane. I'm getting good. Has all the stones in it. Reminds me of something from the 80s. Got some wear. This is a big black stone. I don't know what these are yet. Are they earrings or what? Whatever it is, it's very loose. But this stone is nice. I think it's just glass. Don't see the other one. Uh, sweater clips or sweater guard. That's pretty. Green moon glow. This is a screw back earring. Very old look at birds and some kind of deer or something. I don't have the, I don't see the other one, but this seems very old. Very cool. This is some plastic beads. It's um, 
the necklace. Got a lot of wear. Chain. Looks like it broke. This is, looks like faux pearls, I'm going to say. And it says Japan. Kind of like um like a beige kind of color with some purple. Pretty combo. Oh, and a little Christmas boot world trend ink made in Taiwan. Oh, fuzzy bear. Dirty bear. Stuff and bringing stuff. All right, whatever this is that just came out. Oh, I just broke. It's an old pocket knife. It's in really bad shape. I'm not even trying to open it, but this came off. This is a pendant of an elephant. Or it might have been from an earring. An old Timex. Stop ticking. And this is almost like lapis. Cufflink, pretty. Bracelet, clamper. paint's coming off, but it was like a bamboo. Very small. Hmm. Almost like marcasite look pin. There's some missing. Big bracelet has the green paint missing very heavy I guess somebody could um, touch this up with the paint if they wanted it's still in pretty good shape I mean it has a lot of wear but still it's got a nice style to it a bangle Lightweight. An earring. I don't see any name. Heavily glued. Kind of falling apart. But it has some nice stones in it. Ooh. Ooh. An old. Let's see. Um, D and C plated, I think. It's a runner. That's old. Yeah. Cool. It's some nice rhinestones with fabric on the back. I don't know what it was attached to, but it does not have a clasp. But these are nice rhinestones. Ooh. Not sure what that is. Hmm. Some sort of pin. Here's the other one. I wonder if that's real lapis. Interesting necklace, lightweight. I don't see any name on it. 
it's like woven together cool oh my goodness these are actually heavy heavy glass oh my wow I don't know why these seem heavier than normal glass. Super heavy duty. Can't imagine wearing those on your neck. This is like a super old tie clip or something. Patton. Oh, that's the Aaron. That's old, wow. Very old. Screw back with some rhinestones. I do not see the other one. Something lost its thingy here. Dana. You know what? I'm not usually one to have trouble with this. <laughs> Dana Hamrow. Not sure what it was. One of these things. What I, I guess that's a cufflink. But I don't know what that material is there. Oh, I think it's a piece of that knife. This. Something newer. Oh, a hair clippy thing. Mm. It seems like this is attached. But I guess it's just a bracelet. It's got a lot of wear. It's oval. There's no way to open it. Wood. Oh, here's another one. Like I said, not sure what that material is. Here's another one of those earrings. Here's one of these old... I think someone said these are to like clip onto shoot don't remember what they said don't know what that symbol is but they use them for undergarments like to hold things up or something i have to re-research those because i forgot plastic necklace in a pink fuchsia kind of look. Ooh. Wood, wood bee. It is a wooden bee. Cool bee. Is this some kind of metal? Some kind of enameled metal. A trotier. Something, something. Could be a fancy designer for all I know. Mm hmm. Have to research that. This looks like a bone. Bone ring. Clip on earring. I don't see any name. Boop, boop. Here's the other one. Might wait. H. Some 
this is broken, but it's glass Aurora Borealis beads. Yeah, they're broken. Ooh, 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 there's two things. This is a pin, a brooch from Florenza. Looks like black stones. One's missing here. These are kind of opaly. So, one black stone missing here. Mm -hmm. An orchid in pink. Pretty. This is beautiful. I think it's only missing one thing here. I love these little blue stones. Love. No name. If I can just find the stuff to replace the ones. So pretty. This looks like it was a pin or something and it's broke. With something attached. You can feel it's hard, like um, rough. Hammer. That's in good shape. Pretty good. Oh, shoot. The necklace came off of something. I'm going to say that it came off of this. Oh, it's um wood soldier, wooden soldier guy. I don't know if that's supposed to be bent like that, but it's a necklace, a pendant. I mean, you can hang it on your tree too for Christmas. Cool. I think this was the chain that was on it. Hmm. This is pretty. A bow. Classic. Can't close it right now. Heavy. It's got all its stones, it looks like. Very pretty. Lightweight pearls with this big pearl down here. Avon. It's in good shape. Pretty. Earring that's bent. This is a ring. Adjustable. Let's adjust it a little bit more. Doesn't seem like it's sterling. It's almost like the alpaca kind of sterling. Pretty though. Ow. Okay. Ow. Something is screaming. Can't read that. Polly Bergen, I think. Polly Ber Bergen. Seems like I'm going to say it's pewter. Doesn't say it's pewter, but it's heavy. Necklace. Looks like a kitty that's singing. I don't see any name. But it's a kitty. That seems like it's almost pewter too. By the weight. Cute.
This is pretty. It's got like the milk glass and light blue stones. Nice. Let's see if it has. I say light blue stones, but it might be that they were just rhinestones that are darkened. Ooh, it's got the little milk glass on the back thing. That's really pretty. I want to wear that, but with what? Then. Got this. Almost looks like it's homemade. Like a hematite, hema like beady things. Oh. Sweater guard. Sweater clip, however you want to say it. Just some, I think, faux pearls. They're heavy, though. This is black beads with a barrel clasp. Eh, I can't do it. Those are always pretty. Blue plastic beads with a necklace attached to it. I hate when that happens. Well, we can see if it's a gold filled chain. Mm hmm. Yep. Gold filled. It's worth detangling, which I will do at another time. And a key that's kind of got totally yucky. All right, let's get this last, let's do this last bag. Now I'll show you some of the picks I got off the pile. Here's, looks like it's gold, silver plated the way that it's tarnished here. Liz Claiborne, that probably clean up okay. Big clip on earring. A little hat or sombrero from Mexico, made out of leather. Cool bangle made of some acrylic or something. Moon glowish. That's pretty. I'd wear that in the fall. This is nice with the earring attached to it. Got some stones in there. In good shape. I don't see any name. That's a nice bracelet. Almost has like Christmas colors. Mm. Found a kitty. Kind of a weird kitty. Old kitty. Some missing stones. And a blue nose. That was the earring I found. Sterling. You could put the, find the other one. Plastic. That's that other big earring. Heavy. Ouch. Weight Watchers, congratulations. I guess they lost a certain amount of pounds, whatever. Got rid of that. Very big earring from. Oh my goodness, I don't know what that is. 
Tell me if you know. Looks like jumbo fluffy to me. I if, uh, fluffy. I don't know what that says. Nope. Uh, well, let me know if anybody knows, cause I have no clue. This is quite beat up. It's like that almost, it's like plastic trying to look metal stuff. Ooh, cool. That's neat. It's adjustable. You can wear that. Ooh, I love it. When I was little, I probably would have going crazy over this. I mean, I love it now, but when I was little, anything like that. Super cool. Here's another one. Don't think this is going to be any easier to read. It's the same marking. Don't know. I'm not going to embarrass myself anymore. This looks very 80s. I guess it was a pin. Like that. This is missing some interchangeable 12 ways. Carol Jane Creations. I like that one. Wish I had another one. This is missing the pin part, cameo. Weight Watchers again. Congratulations. This is cool. Very cool. 45. 45. It's cool, but it's not that cool. Not 45 cool. This is bent. Clip on earring, very pretty flower. Very pretty. And I don't see the other one, sadly. Here steering with a pink stone. A very heavy rope chain. Ooh. Let me see if it has a yep. Don't see any name. Kind of worn. Another chain. Nothing on it. Just seeing if it was gold filled or anything. Some heavy pearls with a nice clasp. It's missing a stone. Let's see if it has anything on there. Nope. Let's see if it fits together. Nah. I think it's sometimes they get worn out or you do it wrong and put it in wrong and then put it in right and then it works. I don't think these are real, but they're glass definitely because they're super heavy. More heavy pearls. I think I've had uh, many of these. And I don't think it's small. I think it's 
Maravella. Yep. I think I have a few of these. And they're nice. They're nicely done. They have a nice, nice luster. They would uh, look really pretty on. I have nothing against those. Oh, here's a little thingy that was left. And there's some stones on the table that I have to gather together because I don't know where they're from. And then there's this little thing. I think that was in somewhere else. That other, you know, little earrings. And these were in the last video and I cleaned them up. They go like that, right? Like this. Oh, they were very dirty. I cleaned them up. They're, they're almost like rubbery. Very pretty. What else was in the last video? Oh, this chain was in the last video. And I said, oh, this is a pretty nice chain. Kind of square. You know, I don't know. It felt nice. And turns out that it was Coro. So it was made nice. Very pretty chain. And what else was in the other video? I believe I had I'm busting things up. Oh, okay. This this had all the little pearls in it. It had still needs a cleaning. I I tried to be gentle because of the little pearls. Still has a little gook there. But it has a dark purple stone here, dark purple stone here. This um, like faux opal. I thought that was really pretty. Okay, and here are some of my finds. This is Sarah, Sarah Coventry, a big heavy one. Very nice. this some pale stones pale yellow and blue little aurora borealis rhinestone open in the back i did not find any name nothing on here nothing in the back but super pretty and this is the melophory glass beads really pretty done this is 925, so I'm guessing it's gold over silver. Very pretty colors. I like that. I had found these earrings. Now, I don't know if they're gray here or if they're just older stones, so they've darkened but these are really pretty too it would go like this <laughs> yep really pretty stones and this I kind of made a mistake it's part of a belt buckle super duper old and I left the other piece there that connects to here. Um, I already I told them uh, at the antique shop and she said uh, she'll hold on to it and I come back and get it. Beautiful, gorgeous, love it. And this, I just thought it was so pretty. I couldn't even, when I saw it, I don't even think I had my glasses on because I just said, oh, this is pretty. Everything was in a box and I just started picking stuff out. I saw there was no stones missing and it was such a pretty choker. And then when I got home, I noticed that it had a name on it and it's Nina Riki. Riki? Yeah. So it's a nice name. And it's super pretty. Then I have 
this I'm starting to become obsessed with this Georgian or Victorian old old jewelry with the hands and it's missing some paint but still love it very much so pretty and this one I feel like I need an introduction like Star Wars like da, 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 da. Dun, 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 dun. So pretty. Okay, these aren't, you know, set with prongs or anything. You know, I'm cool with that. It's still well done. Beautiful, heavy, older. You can tell it's older because the pin extends out here. Um, past the little thing there. I'm not sure why it's so dark and then has almost the rose gold look over here I guess to highlight the that has a ring. I don't know. <sighs> so pretty. Love it. But yes. Oh, this was the other one that I said in the other video that I think was silver plated because it had that black and tarnish on it. I just took a polishing cloth and polished it up. It doesn't have a name, isn't marked with anything as far I can as far as I can see. Super duper heavy. And it cleaned up nice. This is a Intaglio reversed carved glass, also very heavy. Reverse carved, you can see here. It's a got a pearl hook and a pin, also older, heavy and pretty. And some intaglio or intaglia, not sure which to say. Earrings. Here's one of them. Or I find the other. Why would I put it in a different spot? Because it's me. These. These are a different, I mean, it's reversed carved, but yet that's how they look. They need to be cleaned. Same kind of smoky quartz look. Different kind of lady. Ooh. And another smoky quartz kind of turtle. Cute. No name on him. This bracelet. No name on that while I break it. But very pretty stones. Like it very much. And I have these clip on earrings. They're not marked, but I thought they were really super cool and had that Hollywood Regency kind of art deco look to them. I like those. This is a fish. I've seen this fish before. Trafari, and they have it with all enameled colors. Really pretty, but this is plain gold tone. I like fish. This is a real shell cameo. It had little plastic pearls around it. I was, I, it had some um, verdigris, and I cleaned it, and the little plastic pearls fell off. But there was only a few. 
I think it's fine without it. And I like this. It was enamel. It is enamel. Um, with the bird. I thought it was kind of cool. Like a paisley design. Pretty. Nicely done. And last but not least, these are from Mexico. And they're cuffs. thought they were really pretty neat. Not sure if there was anything hanging on. I think there were decoration. You know, just... This is just a design, the circles, that there was nothing hanging on them. The faces are different. This is kind of a thinner face than this. It has these and that design. It looks like copper, brass, marked Mexico. I can see some um, Mexican, Mex you know, like some... Somebody in Mexico, like um, some kind of tribe person or leader, you know, wearing this, wearing these on their wrist. Somebody special. Or they could be souvenirs. Who knows? They seem kind of old to me and really super cool, so I like them. But we've hit an hour. And um, thanks for joining me. And like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And I've got lots more stuff to do or show. Um, but I just don't like to have it much more than an hour. Um, I really thank you for watching uh, for that length of time. Um, because I, I don't think I could watch myself for that long. But... Uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, some of these items may be already or soon on my um, Etsy shop and eBay. My Etsy is um, my Vintage Heart US. Um, it's in the link on the About tab on my YouTube and also the tab for my eBay, which is um, Vintage Discoveries, Sally. Have a great night, great week. I'll talk to you soon. Good night. Bye, guys.